Okay, today we're going to uh, give you a little bit of update on this uh, Nissan Hardbody pickup, and we're actually going to try to start it once I sort out all those vacuum lines. So let's get to it. Okay, what we got here is the failure of this intake manifold to seal against the head. You know, I had the head redone, resurfaced. I don't know, if, I don't think they resurfaced the side, but this is not sealing. Uh, when I pour water through the uh, radiator, it goes into this jacket uh, right here. Well, it actually goes through the radiator hose right here into the head and it pours out the bottom. So I got to pull this off reluctantly and see what's going on here. Oh, wow. Did I make a colossal mistake? I already see what I did wrong. You see this, uh, this is a water jacket right here and I did not put a gasket on that. I'm not sure if it didn't come with the, uh, I put the intake gasket, but there's a little gasket that goes right there. And that is not in the uh, Chilton service manual, I don't think. I can't believe I did this. So I'm looking back here. I put this stupid gasket on backwards. I don't know how. I must have been in a rush doing this at night. Wow. Uh, this is, I can't believe I did that. <sighs> so I had to go buy a new gasket. This is the way it goes. I can't, I can't, I really can't believe I did that. I mean, I, I just really can't believe I did that. Unbelievable. You live and you learn though, you know. I'm making mistakes so you don't have to. Now that has a gasket around it. Unbelievable. Okay, I've got uh, the intake and these thousand vacuum lines back on. Got the new radiator on, new water pump redone head i've uh manually timed the thing i actually put new distributor cap rotor new plug wires new exhaust manifold new egr tube new oxygen sensor because that was all destroyed looks like my battery's going dead on that and we're going to do first startup let's see uh what it will do now and hopefully not spew any type of uh you know this cool. is a mechanics uh most stressful part for a start. All righty. Brake light, no other lights. Seems to be idling well. water leak this is a really neat work light I'll show you it's got a very good magnet on it you can use it under the hood like this and good inspection light very heavy duty I'll leave a link to this in the description it's made uh, it's an SMA light let's see Okay, this is going to be the first time this thing's been off the ramp in months. We're going to take it for a test drive. Don't worry about this crappy looking interior. It's going to get fixed. First drive, here we go. Speedometer's broke. The tack works. Everything else seems to work. It's not running hot, but I think the timing is off. It's got kind of a dead spot in it, and um, I'm going to have to put the timing light on it to see. Other than that, it's running good. It's not backfiring or anything, but it's got kind of a not, a, not enough uh, pep. All right. Well, it drove good, it handled good, it shifts good. It's just got, doesn't have a lot of 
pickup. I think the timing is probably off, so I'm going to have to check that. Let me show you this SMA work light real quick. It's uh, pretty neat. Okay, this is a rechargeable work light. It's very heavy duty, as you saw earlier. It's got a very large magnetic uh, base. Uh, it has a, uh, this is all metal here. This is plastic, but this thing's heavy. Um, comes with a USB charging cable. Uh, it is USB-C. Uh, it has three features, high, low, and SOS. Um, so I mainly use it on high here. So just like that, it is extremely bright. And that is the low, and then that is the SOS there, which is kind of neat. Um, but my favorite part, of course, it is rechargeable. So when you plug in the charging cable, uh, it is red and uh, turns green when it is charged. So anyhow, big shout out to uh, SMA for sending me this. I like it, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can get one. Well, I hooked my timing light to the... Uh, to the Nissan and I, um, I, I couldn't get it in time. In fact, I couldn't even get it to the first mark. So it is, seems like it's severely, I think, re retarded, not advanced. So um, I'm going to, I think I'm probably off a tooth on the distributor. I'm going to have to um, pull the oil pump, oil pump out and mess with that. That'll be for another video. But uh, starting to learn a lot about these Nissans. You know, uh, this is a 1991 model. And my Comanche is a 1991 model, and you can see it way out there, uh, right there. Uh, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because these things were direct competitors to one another uh, back in the day. But um, I, so far, I'm leaning toward the Jeep, but uh, we'll see. I mean, they, uh, I don't really, really know much about these things until I started working on them. Uh, it's not as simple as the Jeep because of all those stupid vacuum lines. God, I hate that. All right, that's it for this video. Sorry it was just bambling and going around, but um, uh, tell me in the comments what you think. I, I don't have any power upon acceleration. Do you think that uh, the timing is off or maybe I'm off a tooth? I could not adjust the distributor enough to even get it to advance. So let me know what you think. Take care.